Okay, I got all the wall cabinets in. Uh, I decided to go with some pre-made cabinets this time to make the doors look a little more professional. Uh, but you can see I had to basically cut the whole backside of the cabinet off and um, make it match the angle of the walls, which was pretty hard to do, but came out pretty good, I think. I've got a, a trim piece I'm gonna put along the top, which is uh, just drying over here right now. And uh, show you what I did in the inside. So I had to cut the whole back of the cabinet out. I just added these two pieces of pine to screw it in. And then uh, later on, I'm gonna put a piece finishing covering that. They look really good. And then the, that piece over there is gonna go along the top, cover this seam. And uh, I think now I'm gonna put up the curtains. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So I got this track um, for the curtain, sliding curtains from Amazon. I'll, uh, I'll put a link for this, it works really well. So I just have to kind of unroll it and then uh, cut it to the width of the van right there. Okay, I got all the brackets in. I used my uh, angled drill bit again. And uh, now I just have to uh, snap the uh, plastic track into place. It just, uh, you just hook the front and it just clips in. I think I'll go over that pencil line with some paint first though. Okay, all the clips are up. Um, so I have these curtains I got off of Amazon, uh, but they have these um, things for a curtain rod at the top. So what I do is I, I put them upside down, I clip them up, up on the bottom here, and then I'm gonna take it to the dry cleaner and have him um, alter it so it perfectly matches the, um, the flooring. Show you how I'm going to do that in a sec. Okay, so blackout curtains are up. Now I just need to go and have them uh, altered to fit uh, the contour of the floor. Over here at Premier Cleaners with Edward doing our uh, curtains. <laughs> this guy didn't know he, he didn't know he was in the van business. <laughs> but he does a good job over here in Costa Mesa. All right, so yesterday afternoon I installed the wood floor. Came out pretty good. Um, took about about two hours to do. Uh, it's actually a waterproof vinyl. And um, what's nice about it is it has a built-in underlayment, so you don't have to add a pad underneath uh, makes it kind of nice to install. It came out pretty good. And uh, then I got started on installing the solar system. But when I opened up the charge controller, one of the terminals was snapped off. So now I'm basically stuck here waiting for a new one of those to arrive before I could finish that. But I think I'm going to put in the uh, latches for the cabinets. I bought these uh, push button, push button latches here. Let's see if I can show you. 
they're kind of cool um, so that'll lock all the doors in when you're driving I'll put a link for those but uh, I'm also just gonna try and finish up most of the wiring I'm not not connecting the batteries to anything because I don't have the charge controller but I just want to get all the wires in place so that um, once the charge controller comes I can just plug it in and everything should be working so okay so I've marked off um, exactly where I need to drill off these uh, instructions that come with it and I'm gonna drill this one first and then instead of marking all of them I've made a uh, a little template so I'll drill that and then I'll put this on the back side of it and uh, I'll be able to drill through from the back make the hole in the exact same place on the template and then um, I can use the template on each one of these like that that way um, everything will be in the exact same spot but make sure you adjust all your doors and get them even first um, because once you put these uh, latches in if you move the door you're going to move the latch and it's not going to line up so I'm going to get started on the first one okay so first hole's in so now I'm just going to put the guide on here and then drill from the back through the guide and that'll uh, give me a perfect template so that I could do all the doors and I could just dr drill straight through the template everything will be in the same spot okay so this is what it should look like perfect so this is what they look like when they're all installed so it's nice and tight now it won't rattle when you're driving and then just pull that out now it's locked in looks pretty good